My first lover had a thing for bad poetry. She said, ooh, I love it when you write bad poetry. I said, cool, but what about my good poetry? She said, you don't really write any good poetry, but don't be sad. That's good, because I like bad. I said, that doesn't really make me feel any better. She said, wrap me in your broken metaphors, layer me in your shitty similes, ravage me with your lack of coherent theme, lack of originality, and infrequent rhyme scheme. And I'd play her game like a pawn stroked by an elegant queen. Your eyes are like lilacs, I'd say. How are they like lilacs, she'd ask, knowing that my answer would reveal I didn't really think about the comparison that much, because they're so yellow and nice, and I worry you suffer from Jean Dice. Ooh, she'd shiver. Don't even try to pronounce Jean this correctly or know that the proper color of lilacs is purple I guess it wasn't just poetry any art would do she liked everything I drew she said I love everything you draw I said you like everything I draw she said yeah everything you draw is just so bad draw me like one of those French girls she said the last time I drew a French girl was in high school when my partner was a French girl and we had to draw each other she said yeah I saw the drawing it was real bad didn't even look like a French girl Looked like a big scribble with two eyes floating in it I said babe I love you but you're playing with fire the more I write my poems to appeal to your desires the more I forget how to write actual poetry. She looked me in the eyes and said poetry is dead. No one listens to it anymore. People feel more free browsing dank memes rather than making good art. There's no reward for trying hard. Why compete with the best when you can make shitty art and call it intentionally bad? Is that why this poem was kind of bad? I said, but she didn't really get it. That was too meta for her. So we broke up and I saw her mistake. The very next week she dated Drake because she has a fetish for shitty art and Drake's bad.